Hello, in this quick tutorial we're going to look at what to do if your chamfer or fillet operations fail. Okay, so we're just going to build, we're just adding some chamfers to these holes and just placing a chamfer. Okay. And for some reason this particular hole is causing a fail, okay. For some reason this chamfer is not allowing or not uh, going through okay no matter what size we set it to be it is not creating the chamfer that we want there's no obvious reason for this that we can see okay but instead of trying to figure out what exactly is causing this perhaps it's a bad surface or perhaps it's something completely random that has no cause you know, instead of wasting time trying to figure that out we can just use a different approach to get the chamfer that we want okay and this the same goes with this method for fillets. Okay, if a fillet fails, uh, which it often will, okay, you can use this method as well to create that fillet. Okay, so what we do is essentially define these edges manually, okay, these new edges caused by the chamfer. We design, uh, define them manually and then create the surface between them. Okay, so we can do it uh, in a variety of ways. Um, there's a couple of methods that we can show you that I can show you. A uh, simple one coming to the wireframe, offset this edge on this face. Let's say we wanted a 0 0.25 uh, setback to the chamfer, in this case it's going to be negative. Okay, we do the same for the inside face, so 0 0.25. Okay, so we're just defining these edges manually. Okay, they're curves at the moment. We need to turn them into edges. And to do that, we use the split with curves command in the freeform tab. Pick the face. In fact, we can pick both faces at the same time and both curves at the same time. That's it. Confirm. We've split them. Now we can erase these faces that we no longer need. And all we need to do is close up this surface, go into the freeform. Use a ruled and do a ruled surface between these two edges. Okay, so we've created a chamfer there where it was otherwise not possible using our chamfer tool. Again, the same goes for a fillet. Instead of using the ruled surface, we can uh, either loft or we can use a circular or conic fly rail. Pick the two edges and we'll have to change our solution to and then we can play around with our radius. Okay, we can get our fillet in here. If we really want to have that tangency like fillet operations have, then we can come into the wireframe at shape, sorry, and do a loft, loft between this edge to this edge, and there we have the tangency. Okay. Uh, no end caps, maybe we want to do a boolean add to the shape. Okay, so there we have a fillet. Okay. Uh, a quicker way to define our edges is actually to just come in with the uh, swept rod on this edge. Let's go for a diameter of 0 0.5. Okay, and this will give us a point to define our new curves. So if we have a diameter of 0 0.5, we have a radius of 0 0.25, and then we can just do intersection curves. We can do intersection curves to get the curves, or skipping that step entirely, we should be able to do split with faces. Okay, split this face and this face with this face. And we don't need to keep splitting faces. And then we can just erase these spaces. So we've skipped a, a couple of steps there. It's actually a nice quick way to do things. Just uh, place the rod um, and give the radius of the rod or the diameter of the rod, make that equal to twice the radius of the fillet or the offset of the chamfer that you're after. Okay, and then just do the freeform split with faces. It's quite a nice way. It's just not as uh, visual a way of doing things. So I showed you the longer method first, 
so that you can kind of visualize what we're doing here. Okay. 